Hey guys, how you doing? It's Fernando here today. And man, would I have really have loved to unlock these outfits. This is Michael's, this is uh, Franklin's, Trevor's, and the ones that I would really love to have, Claude's and Nico's. Especially Claude's, because Claude is like the first GTA character that I grew up playing as. GTA 3 was my first real GTA game where I really got into GTA. So Claude is a, a special character for me. And I would really love to have these outfits, especially Claude's and Nico's. Unfortunately, Rockstar has made it damn near impossible for you to unlock these clothes because you need to complete tier fours in the career mode, career progress mode. If you can't find, you can't your, can't side, find your side, now, unfortunately, side. they've made career progress like stupid. I, I think that this is like one of the worst implementations of, of uh, progression that I've seen in a video game. Because they just pretty much just like threw stuff on the wall and saw what sticks. Now, just let's just go through each one of our career progress. The first, the first grip I have with career progress is that not all your progress from your ten-year history. Some, some of you have only played ten years. Maybe mine's only been like maybe four or five years. But some people have played this game from the very beginning. None of that, not all of it, counts towards your progress. Like, Rockstar decided to pick and choose what they wanted you to advance on and what you need to start over from. And that's ridiculous because some of the stuff that they cherry-picked is for you to grind and grind and grind till you get that. Now, let's start going through some examples. Like, let's, let's go through the whole career list and let me show you how ridiculous some things are. For example, let's say, let's pick one of the simpler ones. Let's say Lowriders, okay? So, you, for, um, for you to get any of those outfits, you need to do... You need to do all tier fours. You need 24, for example, for Nico's outfit, the main one, you need to do 25 of these. So here's three of them right there for tier four for uh, the lowriders. And this is doing the lowrider missions on hard without using snacks or armor, completing all lowrider missions while taking less than 50% damage, and completing all lowrider missions with over 80% accuracy. And I think there's a bunch of those contact missions. I think they're pretty much all the same. Yeah, they all pretty much are the same way. The other thing is that the rewards you get for them are ridiculous. Okay, for the, for doing the Madrazo version of it, you only get a stupid hoodie with a with a with a target on the, in the on the chest. For the lowrider one, you get this this Benny sweater. For the deluxe one, uh, for 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 this one, you get another hoodie, like Employee of the Month hoodie. For Gerald's, you get the the smoking jacket, which I think this one's pretty cool. This one might be worth getting. Uh, for the super yacht life, you get this stupid blue like sweater it's clothing all the majority of this is clothing url these missions are boring but now now add all these uh, uh add all these challenges to it you get this iaa sweater it's it's not bad but it really is it worth going through this and then for san andreas mercenary you get this stupid green sweetie so you get a bunch of clothing unlocks for each one and yeah pretty much all of them are the same thing you just have to do them on hard you gotta uh, take less than 50 percent damage you can't do snacks or armor and you need 80 percent accuracy yeah. So all those contact missions are pretty much the same all around. And even before you can unlock these, you need to make sure you unlock the tier two and tier three before you can even touch tier four. So, which those aren't as hard to do, but still it's annoying. And then some of the clothing is not super worth it either. Like a cap or a t-shirt and stuff like that. But that's not the main goal. The main goal is to get those um, those unlocks uh, for uh, Nico and Claude and then the, the protagonist from GTA V. So that's that's what five three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen. Um, I'm not sure if that's how they count or if it's just one tier. I'm not sure exactly how it counts, but you'd get for example for tier four you get the hoodie, you get 150k and you get 5,000 RP, which doesn't sound like much of a reward. This should this cash bonus should be a lot more, and maybe the RP bonus should be a lot more, especially for going through all that bullshit. For your all paper, same thing, 50, 150,000 and 5,000 RP. So it's it, you're going through all that bullcrap just for 150k, the the unlock of tier four and for 5,000 RP. How why does Rockstar think we're going to spend so much time doing that? So that's just contact missions. Let's go to businesses. For example, the drums with drug war to get to tier four to unlock this uh what is it this journey this version of the journey you need to do all platinum awards on uh, drug wars. 13 out of 24 so far for me. You have to complete 100 source supply missions for the Acid Lab. The Acid Lab source missions are horrible. They're horrible to do and they're a waste of time. I'd rather just pay 60k to, 
to fill my lab. I, but they expect you to do a hundred source supplies for you to complete tier four. And then you got to complete all first dose and last dose missions that they didn't give me credit for. I don't know if anybody else is good. I didn't get credit for doing first and last dose. I already did all 11 missions. I have to do them again just for this. And then you have to earn uh, uh, $10 million selling acid, which again, they don't count it. This this 510, that just, that's just one acid lab sell that I've done. So they let's say that averages about 500K per sale. They expect me to do 19 more acid lab sales just to unlock that. So they didn't give me any credit for past sales. For the contract, uh, tier four, same thing. Probably you, you unlock uh, the platinum awards. You have to do 100 security contracts on specialists and special plus. They won't even count professional. Either specialist, specialist plus. If you don't got any professional, if you don't got any special, specialist plus, it will not count towards your uh, hunger security contracts. And then completing a hundred payphone hits with the assassination bonus. I've done one. <laughs> I've done hundreds already, but they've only I've only done one since they've implemented the career progress. So I got ninety nine more to go. Plus I need to make uh, five million. Thankfully they did count. They did count that for some weird reason. They did add that to the counter because I already have four four point eight million. I'm close to breaking that. Plus, have to do uh, one in uh, tier two and tier three, which aren't that hard, and you'll probably unlock them on your way there anyway if you're doing them. Uh, after hours, probably same thing. Uh, Platinum awards, yeah, they're pretty much the same except here you gotta get 25 celebrity appearances at your nightclub. Thankfully, they did start counting them, but the celebrities are so damn random. You could probably do 10 resources for the nightclub. Maybe one of them is gonna be a celebrity, so that'll take forever for me just to get the rest, the other nine that I need. And then keep your nightclub popularity at 100% for 10 hours. So I need to play the game 10 hours straight to make sure that my popularity stays at 100% for me to get that bonus, to get that check off. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not going to be on this game 10 times making sure my progress is at 100% for 10 hours straight. I got better things to do. And thankfully, they did give me the $50 million more for, uh, what is that, T total earned. I don't know if that's through just uh, the nightclub... Uh, safe or whatever but they did count that though i don't think that one's that difficult and that's what i'm saying they cherry picked the ones that they wanted you to give you for your career they should have been all of them they should have just given you the progress from when you started and just gave you the unlocks as you go and just make you work your way around not have you start from the beginning this is a step of the pace for people who have been here in the beginning where they won't count all your progress from the last 10 years this is career progress which means from the start of when you start playing but no, they decide on some of these, especially the harder ones, they're going to decide, you know what, you're starting from zero, no matter how many you've done already. You got to do more. Smuggler's Run, same thing, probably. Yeah, the 100 sourcing cargo missions, I'm at 52. Selling 1,000 crates, I'm at 55. All types of cargo, 4 out of 8. And I need to earn 50 million. Right now, I'm at 7 million. So that that's fine, because I've never really used hanger crate before, so I can understand that one for me. But for other people who've done the hanger crate and they have it all at zero, that sucks. Next one, the bunk, the gun running, the bunker. Complete all mobile operations on hard in under 10 minutes. None. I know I've done at least one, but I got none right there. Complete all challenges at the bunker shooting range. I haven't done the shooting range. I'm not going to. That's not going to be worth it for me. Research 25 projects and then 25 minutes. Imagine if they had to reset that one to zero and you had to research. That's impossible. You, they have to give you that one because most of you have already done your research already. Well, that one's not so bad. Let's see, for import-export, source all vehicles for all collections. I only got one. I know I have more than one done in my career, but it's only counting the one that I recently did. Complete all special vehicle works on hard difficulty. I've done at least four or five. They didn't give me any. Sell 50 vehicles in perfect condition. I've done that, but they they started you at zero. Earn 25 million selling vehicle cargo. I'm at 5 million. Thank goodness they gave me that, but I, I, I think it should be more, but okay, I'll take 5 million. But now I got to do another 19 plus million dollars to unlock that one. Next one, biker business. Earn 25 million for selling product. That Everybody should probably have that one already. If you've been grinding money for a long time, that one, everybody should have that already. Earn 2.5 million from delivering custom bikes. I, I delivered custom bikes, but they didn't kind of, that started me at zero. Earn 500K from Clubhouse Bar. The bar missions are boring, but they expect you to earn 500K. That'll take like maybe 10 or 15 runs uh, for your bar. And then 50 clubhouse contracts. I've done several. It started me at zero there again. They cherry picked what they wanted you to have and not have to start. Uh, I had some felony. So this is the crates. Complete 10 different VIP works and challenges. I've done three since they started the career progression. I should have all 10. Source all types of special items. Again, should have all six. They only gave me the two that I already have right now. Source 250 crates. Thank goodness they gave me that one already. 
And they're earning 50 million. We should all have that one already if we've been sourcing any type of grinding for crates. Oh, geez. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, for recreation, Los Santos Tuners. Tier 4, unlock 10 Platinum Awards. I did that already. They started giving me that. Uh, same for the robbery contacts. They counted that for you. But they didn't count the uh, delivering customer vehicles. That's at 5 million. I have zero. I know I've at least gotten to 5 million. Reach LS Carmi Repetition of 100. That's not so hard to do. Diamond Casino Resort. And this one is like, I think this one's really difficult. Unlock 11 Platinum Awards for Diamond Casino Resort. So far I got four. Complete all casino story missions are hard difficult taking less than 50% damage. Complete all casino story missions are hard difficulty using only pistols. Uh, I saw Gilly ranting about this. This is an extra impossible because the, the, the NPCs can die several different ways. Not just, it doesn't count that you just use your pistol the whole mission. You got to make sure the NPCs, your enemies die from your pistol. If they die any other way, the challenge has failed. Like if they're like, for example, Gilly's example. If you're if the helicopter is attacking you and you take out the pilot, but there's people in the helicopter when it explodes, that death does not count as a death by by your pistol. Therefore, your challenge has failed. And there's other instances of, of this uh, this one in particular where it doesn't look like they did any testing to make sure that it worked properly. It should be where you only use your pistol and that's it, and it counts for your challenge. Doesn't matter how the NPCs die, you're only using your pistol. That's what the objective is. But unfortunately, if your NPC enemy dies from anything other than your pistol, you fail that challenge even though it's out of your control. That is ridiculous. Complete 100 casino work missions for Agatha Baker. I got 26. Thankfully, they're counting that. Uh, next one, let's see. For the heist, this ought to be interesting. Cal Perico. I know I did Cal Perico from like crazy back in the day, but they didn't count everything in my career. Complete the Cal Perico works on hard difficulty. Everybody's done that by now. That should have been counted already. Complete 25 preps. That one should be counted already. I, I'm starting at zero there for some reason. Complete all digital case. Thank God they counted that already because I, I don't want to do those again. Unlock 15 platinum awards. That's done. See all variations of the primary target. That's done. Complete the cop Perico has using all approaches. I'm two approaches away. I'm not sure which ones those are. Let's see if it tells me. Uh, I need to do uh, the Alconos and the Stealth Annihilator. Okay, so those are that's not so bad. And then 50 million from primary and secondary target. So I got to do this Kyle heist again at least, what, let's say 1.5 million per heist at 50 million. 30 times maybe? 30 more times before I could unlock this. You know how much of a grind that is to do 30 Kyle Pericos? If I do them solo, that's a three-hour cooldown per heist. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. Why would I waste my time Ooh. doing that? Next one, the Diamond Casino Heist. Okay, tier four, unlock 50 platinum awards. Okay, I only need three. Uh, steal all variations of loot. I have done every single one, including diamond. Imagine if you don't have diamonds right now and you can't do this one. Steal $50 million from the vault. I've done that already. I probably have three times that already. That should count even though I've already got more than enough. And then steal $100,000 for, thank God that's there because they nerfed the vault a long time ago where you only get like maybe 10 to 20K per each uh, time you go through it. Maybe even less than that, but that one counts. But still, ridiculous that I have to do this halt, this heist again. Let's say I make 20%, I get a million too. They expect me to do this heist like 35 times for me to unlock that. And plus, make sure I get an event where I get the diamond so I can unlock the fourth variation. Ridiculous. Doomsday heist. This must, must be a beauty of a one. Let me see. Unlock 10 platinum awards for the doomsday heist. Okay, I got one. I've never really done the doomsday heist, so I should have nothing, but I got one for some reason. I helped somebody, I think. Complete all three acts. Oh, oh, my God. Complete all three acts using only pistols and vehicles. Okay, they added vehicles to that. So I'm guessing if you use weapons on a vehicle, that, that counts. But imagine doing the parts where you can't drive a vehicle with only pistols. Imagine trying to kill juggernauts inside the base with only a pistol. That is ridiculously hard. Uh, complete the elite challenge for all three acts and complete 15. Okay, so I have to do 15 of these to get this tier 4 unlocked. That is stupid. Most people just do one and done. They expect you to do 15 X. Mm, ridiculous. The OG heist. This one's even worse, I think. Unlock 15 platinum awards. I got three. Earn 50 million across all heists. These heists pay shit. Okay? You're getting, maybe I think, um, which one is it? The standard, the Pacific standard one, I think pays 2 million. Base, like flat. 
you're you're splitting that between four people so that's 500k per person and that's not counting what you're gonna lose when you get shot because you're gonna get shot in that heist so let's say you make an average of 400k per per heist how many is that gonna take you to do how many of the og heists are gonna do and you have to pull like three other people to help you with this stuff that's gonna take you forever Complete the elite challenge, high, uh, elite challenge for each size. Plus, you gotta do the elite challenge, and then complete the criminal mastermind challenge. That's gonna take forever. Next one. Series uh, the arena wars. Okay, this ought to be a beaut too. Unlock 15 platinum awards for the arena wars. Okay, I got five somehow. Earn skill level 20 in arena wars. I got level three and reach sponsorship tier 50. Problem with this is nobody does arena wars as much anymore unless it's double or triple money. So that's the only time you're going to be grinding these out is when there's double or triple money and there's actually people playing it. So these are not going to be easy to get. Same with it. Nobody does adversary modes. How are you going to get these done? Whatever. They participate in 25 different adversary modes. Win 50 of them and then win five in a row. When no one's doing adversary modes, how do they expect you to do all this? Survivals. I see survivals is not that bad because there's a way to cheese it where you could set up a survival with like enemies not having weapons they could just have like like uh not have guns and that makes it a lot easier so you could cheese this one this one's not so hard racing what are tier four for racing win 20 races in the community series in the community series not regular races achieve the fastest lap 50 times in any rockstar created race 50 times 50 times you need to do that and then win 50 races against another player who's gonna be doing 50 races who Death matches. Nobody does death matches either. Kill five players without dying 25 times during death matches. Win 50 death matches and win five death matches in a row. It's doable, but it's gonna be hard to find a match. That's the problem. Special interest. Vehicle enthusiasts. Tier four. Unlock 10 platinum awards. I'm four away. Own 100 vehicles, including one special vehicle. Thank God they counted that. I'm not gonna be buying 100 new vehicles. Own a vehicle in each of the 15 different classes. That's good too. Customize 50 vehicles. That's not so hard. You can just put whatever little cheap thing on each of your cars and you can get that one. So this one's not too bad. And then for weapons expert, this is, I think, uh, let me see. Win 10 challenges against another player in the ammunition. This is the shooting range one. Um, that's actually the other one I'm missing. I need to win with another. I guess if I could get somebody to help me, I could do this one real easy. This one's not so bad because I got everything else. Own all the MK2 weapons. Own all 50 weapons and unlock all Mark II ammo types. Okay, so that's not so hard. Um, yeah, that's it though. But like, for example, you need to do all 20, what is it? All 20 of these to get the Claude outfit and then 25 to get the Nico outfit. That is a ridiculous amount of grind that you got to do. And I'm a grinder. This is what I do, but there's only so much grinding I'm willing to do in the game. Like Rockstar, why didn't you just make it like not, not this grindy? No one is going to invest this much time in your game anymore. It's 10 years old. I want to play other shit. I don't want to play GTA all the time. Look at my look at my game list. I have so many games that I need to catch up on. Like, I want to really get into... I haven't played Chivalry. Crisis Core and... Uh, where's the other one? Final Fantasy VII Remake. I have not finished. I need to get I need to get to these eventually. Dying Light 2. I have friends who have been begging me to play this game. It's right there. I just haven't played it. Elden Ring is game of the year last year i have not even touched it i need to get into that game i love playing fall guys i play once in a while and same with Dying dead by daylight i'll play with friends ghost of tsushima awesome game haven't finished it god of war ragnarok awesome game haven't finished it katie's awesome game haven't finished it hitman 3 awesome game haven't finished it uh what else horizon forbidden west haven't finished it guardians of the galaxy haven't finished it midnight suns haven't finished it Spider-Man remake. I restarted the game. Haven't finished it. I haven't even touched Miles Morales. Uh, what the fuck is it? I gotta delete that game. Resident Evil Village. Haven't finished it. The pro recommended Bandalore to me. I haven't even touched it. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. I heard it's great. Haven't touched it. Sniper Elite Five. Awesome game. Haven't finished it. Street Fighter Six. Awesome fighting game. I love this game. Haven't even gone through the first part of World Tour mode. And much more games that, I, that I've been enjoying. Not even going through my PS4 list of games, which is like a ridiculous amount of games. 289 games. And half of these games I haven't even finished or haven't even touched. I still have to go through my PS5 games. So that's the thing. Rockstar is expecting you to, to invest so much time for these outfits. So much of a grind. Why? 
No, this is ridiculous, man. And like I could, I could understand yeah, Gilly yeah, and yeah, Pro yeah. and yeah, yeah. TGG, all those guys that spend a lot of time in GTA. This is kind of their thing. This is kind of their content, their bread and butter. I can understand them trying to do all the challenges and getting all these outfits and stuff like that. But for a normal player like me and you and everybody else who just plays for fun and stuff, are you really gonna be grinding? 20 30 40 50 more more hours that you already invested or even more than that because some of these things are probably gonna even take even longer than that just to get these outfits and just to unlock uh the career progress which some of these rewards aren't even worth i'd say the only ones that i really really want to get are let me see the business the, 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 the one with the um where is it the contract i think it's the contract. yeah the van that and the gerald's um where is it and the Gerald one, which is the the smoking uh, jacket, the four toy smoking jacket. Pretty much the only two I'm really interested in that I'm I may try. This one's gonna be a little hard because, like I said, it's hard difficulty without some extra armor, taking less than fifty percent damage and eight percent accuracy. Might need somebody to help me out with that. And then for the other one, for the business side of it, it's uh, oh, shit, I can't even remember because this one okay. And then this one, hundred security contracts, hundred payphone hits. That's gonna be a while. Even for just those two, I could see 10, 15 hours. Just for those two, maybe less. Well, well, for contracts, yeah, you know, 10, 15 hours. Yeah, just for those two. Now, imagine somebody trying to do all of these tier fours just to get this. And yes, these are cool, but no, it's not worth investing that all that time like when there are so many other like games that are out there that are better. And this is just PlayStation. I didn't even touch my, uh, my Xbox or, you know, I haven't finished Halo Infinite yet. I have Tears of the Kingdom on my Switch. I haven't even touched that game because I've been busy with other stuff and work and stuff. There's so many other games out there. Rockstar, you are ridiculous for expecting me to spend my time to play your game over and over for stuff that I've already done like a hundred times over just to unlock stuff that I'll admit is cool, but it's not worth the time, dude. It's just not. And that's just my little rant on things. Thank you guys for watching, man. Take care. You have a good one, man.